Morning, sweet oilers. Happy Saturday. I wanted to make a do-it-yourself brow gel. You can also use this for lashes. Very simple. We have castor oil that you can get on Amazon or the health food store. We have essential oils. Rosemary, which you can snag for free this month with your 125 PV loyalty order. Lavender and cedarwood are also some good ones. They're optional that you can add to this. And then you purchase these little mascara packs from Amazon. They have the brush and everything. You open it up and we're going to add our castor oil right into this. So you can either use a funnel like so and pour that in, or you could also use a pipette and pipette that in. So I'm going to use the pipette with this. Now it's important to remember that castor oil is a thicker oil. It's going to be thicker than say your fractionated coconut oil, but I'm going to open this up and we're just going to pipette some out. And we have to be a little bit patient with it because again, it's, it's a super thick oil. And let that get full like so. And then we're just gonna transfer it over into our little mascara pump. Like so. We'll do this a couple times. And both of these are really great. I love non-toxic beauty. You can even add a drop or two of your rosemary to something like Crunchy is my favorite non-toxic mascara. And it's nice when you know all the ingredients that are going into your stuff here. There we go. And then about halfway through, I'll start to use the essential oils. We're gonna do 10 drops of each. There we go. And this makes a great one. You can do this at night before you go to bed. So we'll start with our lavender essential oil. 10 drops in there. And it's getting towards the end, it's not wanting to come out. So this is a life hack for you. If you take your cap, put it on the lid and pull up, it will pop that off and you can get a little bit more out to the last drop. There we go. And then we're also going to add in our rosemary, 10 drops of rosemary. And then our cedarwood. Cedarwood is a thicker oil, so I use a little dropper top from shareoils.com to get this out. All of these are great for stimulating hair growth. Okay, so we've got our essential oils in there. We're gonna keep adding our castor oil. Just out of curiosity, let's try the funnel and see how this method works for us, if we like it better than the pipette or not. And again, castor oil is super thick, so it takes a little time. You kind of have to lift this up and it will start to slowly come out. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it takes about the same amount of time depending on either way we use it. You do wanna leave a little bit of room at the top to put the brush back in when we're all done. thing is this lasts a really 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 long time I was looking it up and I think the last time that I used this was almost a year ago so it does last for a long time even with daily use you could use this as a brow styling gel too so I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here to put the brush in and then you don't want to forget there's this little stopper that you're gonna pop in to just seal it up very nicely and then we put our brush in, twist the lid on. You can shake it up to just mix up the essential oil with the castor oil. But there you go, very simple do-it-yourself brow gel that is non-toxic. You can apply to your brows and to your lashes. You could do that morning and night. And I use it as a styling gel to make sure that my eyebrows are going in the same direction. <laughs>
All right, hope you found that helpful and don't forget to snag your free rosemary through the 15th this month. Have a great Saturday, bye.